Welcome back. New at six, a $1 million gift to Tulsa's Greenwood Arts Project. Give those who experienced the glory days a chance to look back on what it was. Greenwood was just the place. <laughs> That's all I can say. To Works you reporter Christy Maria shows us those who've lived there all their lives want Greenwood to reflect its rich history. Let Greenwood be a beacon for Tulsa. That's what I'd like to see for Greenwood. Everlene Wilson was born in Tulsa in the early 1940s. I remember the train station when it was thriving. They had segregated bathrooms. She says she went to segregated schools in the city until 10th grade. That was Tulsa. We had our own black schools. We had kids being bused in from Bigsby, Owasa. But a memory that shines over all others was Greenwood. Just to drive down Greenwood was exciting. <laughs> that was the mentality of Greenwood. It was just like it at 24 hours. She says Greenwood was like a Tulsa Broadway. And while it's now much more broken up, Everly wants Greenwood to reflect the way she remembers it. While Greenwood has certainly changed over the years, those who lived through its glory days want to see it become a piece of living Tulsa history. My biggest thing is the young people, for them to know where, where we came from. Everleen says in her lifetime, she wants to see Greenwood become a reason visitors flock to Tulsa for all its history and the opportunity it represents. I just wish that God would give me sense to be able to encourage them to go on, you know, to make all this come true. In Tulsa, Christy Maria, Two Works For You.